please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you wanted to help support this channel, it won't cost you anything. All you got to do is use the links in the description if you wanted to get one of these for yourself. Hey, what's going on, Rich? Back with another awesome video for you. I just picked up a rapid test soil test kit. I picked it up on Amazon. And what this does is it gives you a pH test for pH balance, gives you an N test for nitrogen, a P test for phosphorus, and a K test for potash. K is also potassium, same thing. I went outside and I took soil samples. So let me get this opened up. I'll show you what comes in the kit, what you get. There are four different sets of pills or capsules. You get 10 of each. So 10 blue, 10 green, 10 purple, and 10 orange. So that's really cool that it's color coded. I like how they do that. It also comes with a dropper for water, so you can put water inside. Other thing is it tells you a pH list of what your plants should be, the pH range, which is kind of cool. It says take one cup of soil and five cups of water, mix them together, stir it, and then after you stir it up and mix it well, you want to be able to let it sit for about a half hour to 24 hours, and then you take the dropper that it gave you before, you put the dropper in, take some water out, and you fill it inside the test container, which is right here, up to the fill line, and then you pour, put the capsule, you know, open, the, open up the capsule and then put it in the side, shake it up, and then whatever color it is, you'll see what color you have, then you'll know. I don't want to use that much distilled water and everything. So what I'm going to do is I filled up about 10 ounces of water and I'm going to use two ounces of soil. I'm going to make sure to take the blades of grass out and mix it up thoroughly, let it sit for a half hour, and then I'm going to take the water out and do all the tests. It's basically telling you to use a, a cup of soil to five cups of water. So that's just a one to five ratio. So two ounces of soil to 10 ounces of water should be the same exact result. Like I said, a one to five ratio. So. I'm going to take my soil out, put my soil in, I'm going to take that blade of grass out so it doesn't mess the test up, stir it, get it nice and mixed up, and then come back in about a half hour. If you have very fine clay soil, then you want to wait about 24 hours, but all you got to do is just take the water out and then put it in the mixers and mix it and see what color you get. Okay, so I'm back and I waited about an hour and I'm ready to do some tests. Here we go. I'm going to take the capsule apart for the K test. Just take this apart right here. Just try to gently take that apart and learn from my mistakes. Try to take the capsule apart right over the top of the test kit. That'll make it so you don't spill it and get it all over the place and waste it. It's like we're in the matrix. You're going to take the red pill or the blue pill. Put that in there. You can see before what I did was I mixed the water and I'm just letting it sit. I'm going to take water off of the top. I don't want to mix the cup or move the cup around. I'm just going to take it out with the dropper. All right, so all you want to do at this point is you want to take your caps and put those on and shake them up. So it has been exactly 10 minutes since I originally put all the liquids in and I mixed them up and I shook them up. So here are the results. You want to hold it up to the light in the ceiling and kind of look at it through the light coming through the back of it. And I'll give you an idea what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to put the light behind it to try to show you what the color is. So as you can see, the color behind it is more of deficient. It's, it's kind of de between deficient and adequate. It's more of a pink color. As I put the light behind it, you could kind of see the color. It's, it's just about depleted because I'm just about to do a nitrogen treatment right now. I'm at the end of the month where I'm gonna put the fertilizer down. So if I put the light behind it, you could basically see that it's like a pink color without trying, I'm trying not to put too much light so you could actually see the color of it. It's, it's in between, I would say it's between deficient and adequate. So it is deficient. I know that it's the end of the month. I'm getting ready to put more fertilizer down. So that is what it looks like right now. So as I move the light, you could kind of see the different colors. This is kind of like a blue green and we're probably, I would say between deficient and adequate, nowhere near this dark deep blue where it's sufficient and surplus. So for K, we're actually, we're actually just about sufficient. Yeah, so this is more of an orange color. We are definitely between, I would say sufficient and adequate. So we're, we're very close with the K. The pH test tells you to put soil in there. It says fill with soil. So I put a little bit of soil in there. It tells you just to put a little bit. Uh, there is the fill line for the soil. Take the green pill apart and just put that in there. Take some distilled water, put that inside. I filled up to the line with water. I filled it up with soil on the bottom. Now I'm just going to put the cap on and shake it up for a minute. I would say it's between slight acid and acid. So 6.0 pH. 
The best way to do it is to use it with an old incandescent screw in light bulb, you know, the kind with the filament, the Edison bulbs. That's the best way to do it with just a regular light bulb if you can, if you don't have sunlight to do it during the day. So just wanted to give you a heads up. There are the different ways to do the test. Again, you get 10 pills for each color, which means you can do 10 tests with the pH, 10 tests with the nitrogen, 10 with the phosphorus, and 10 with the K or the potassium potash. So there you go. Uh, there's the test kit. And of course you do get the dropper. And what you want to do is you took soil. I took uh, two ounces of soil. I put it in 10 ounces of water, stirred it up really well, let it sit for an hour. And then what you want to do is, is you want to take the dropper and suck in the clear water from the top of it. As you can see, that's clear. You don't want to stick the dropper all the way down into the soil and start mixing it up again and get dirty water. You don't want the brown water. You just want the clear water from the top because that's going to give you the best testing. So that's how you do it. Very simple, very easy to use. Again, just give yourself some time because depending on what kind of soil you have, if it's clay or other kinds, it might take almost the 24 hours for the water to get clear for it to settle to the bottom. That's how you do it. And I will tell you, this test works great. The other thing too is I wanted to mention, you should definitely pick up a set like this if you're doing any kind of lawn care or gardening. It's not that expensive and it's going to help you know what kind of fertilizer to put on your lawn so that you don't burn it, so that you don't give it too much of a nutrient and so that you don't give it too little of a nutrient. Oh, one more thing, by the way, make sure to use distilled water if you can. If you don't have access to the distilled water, I would use bottled water. You don't want to use something out of the tap because the problem with that is it could have different nutrients and vitamins and minerals and different things added to it, depending on whatever they put in your water at your local water facility. So again, if you wanted to pick up this test kit for yourself, I'm going to leave some links down in the description. It would definitely help support this channel and me making some more great videos for you. If you can, make sure to click that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesome content, and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section down below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.